Hey, what's up everyone? Sorry for not uploading for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I've not been feeling very well and that's my excuse for not uploading. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through a little process that I know in Photoshop. A lot of people use dodging and burning for lightening shadows and darkening shadows. I prefer to use a different technique. I think it works a little bit better. You can use it for portraits, interiors, um, added tonal ranges. It's, it's quick, it's simple and yeah, it's fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive in right now and yeah, we'll get started. As I was just saying, this technique is based in Photoshop, it's based in layers and opacity layers. What would be best is I'll start a screen grab and show you how it works from there. So let's jump in right now. So here we are with an old shot that I took last year of a model called Megan. Uh, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of dark shadowy areas. Uh, it's, it's unedited, nothing's been done to it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into layers and we're going to start working with that. So into layers, we're going to create a new layer, just a new transparent layer and we're going to put in an overlay. Then we're going to get our paintbrush, have this front colour set to white and we're just going to paint over the areas in shadow that we don't like. And as you can see, just from that little bit there, it just brings back some of the colour. You can keep adding more layers to bring out more and more of these dark areas. Um, but you don't need to do a lot of it. So yeah, that's the first one. Just going to add another layer. Go over this area again. I'm going to add yet another layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on her hair in this one and try and bring out the brightness in her hair just a little bit more so we're going to zoom in quite a bit now it doesn't need to be perfect as you can see here it's really going to bring out the fire in her hair now I'm not going to I'm just doing this quickly just to show you because Obviously, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to sort of sit here all day and make it look ridiculously perfect. See there, it's it went too far. So I just take go into the opacity of that layer and bring that down a bit. Then we're going to zoom back out and see what we think. So if we take all of those off, see how dark our hair colour gets. Then you see how dark the background gets as well. But it's that actual rim on top of her head that I don't like in layer 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that layer and I'm going to take a bit more time and go back into overlay and redo that just ever so slightly. Because there was just a highlight on her head there that I didn't like. That I created. So I just want to just be ever so careful when we're working around this area. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yep, there it is. To me personally, I think that makes an amazing difference um, to what we had to begin with, and that's just that's just a quick first part of the edit. And what I'll do is I'll take this back into Lightroom, I'll add some more effects to it in there and then I'm going to put up the finished image at the end of this video which is just now because I'm just showing you that part of the editing process. Just a quick little video just to get back into it and to apologise for not uploading for the past couple of weeks. As I say I've not been very well. Hope you enjoyed the video, comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.